increase the shadow. So if we look at her face on camera left, there's obviously a shadow on that side of her face. So with skin shadows, I could make that a little bit darker or make that a little bit brighter. And as always, you know, you can easily get too much. You can see it's also affecting her hair in there. Um, it's basically a shadow lift isolated to the face. We don't want to get too crazy. So in fact, I kind of like it being a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to pull it down a little bit in this case. Then there's skin highlights. Now this photo is, again, being a studio shot, it's nicely lit. It's not really a concern, but we'll, we'll play with it. But often, you know, and we can see it on me right here a little bit. I didn't quite powder enough today. A little bit of highlight in here. So those highlights can be distracting. You want to scale those back a little bit. And especially if you're doing, if you're taking pictures for a while, or obviously someone who's not prepped for a photo shoot, they may, have, may not have camera ready makeup on. Uh, a little bit of sheen on the forehead is pretty common to get. So this can help knock that back a little bit. So let's take that skin highlights and pull those down. And if you look at her forehead, um, forehead and cheeks, you can see that does a really nice job of pulling the highlights back on that area there. Then there's skin hue. And this is not a full hue slider. I can't make her face purple or green, but well, I guess I can go a little bit green, but it does allow me to shift the hue a little bit. Now I think this is really, really handy. Have you ever taken a picture of someone and their face is just red? Maybe they're at a party, they've been drinking, or it's just that some people just have a redder skin tone. You wanna kind of mm, scale that back a little bit this can be a great tool for that. Just pull out some of that red. Or they're looking a little, we're feeling so good today, looking on the green side, you can pump a little bit of color back into that as well. So in her case, again, I think the face color is just fine, but you can see what happens as I pull it down, it goes a little bit more towards red, a little bit more towards green, so away from red, away from green, just ever so slightly shifting the hue on that. And then there's the skin saturation. So this would definitely go along with that red face. If you got a little bit too much red in the face, you can add, take some out, or if we wanna just kinda of warm up her face a little bit, add a little bit of extra color into it, we can do that too. And it, you know, you can get crazy really quickly there. We don't wanna do that, but we can add just a little bit of color into her face there. Let's see where we're at so far. If I tap and hold, that's a pretty significant difference between the two. I think I've added a little bit too much color into that face. Let me go back into skin tone take that skin saturation down a little bit. Always, always, always a good idea to do a before and after, to just constantly as you're adjusting, especially when you're touching somebody's face, keep going back, look at that before and after, make sure you haven't gone too far. You know, it's easy to make a bunch of changes, especially for color things and go, oh yeah, yeah, the skin looks great. And then you look at the before and you go, whoa, whoa, I took it way too far. I had no idea I'd taken it that far. Really good idea to constantly go back and forth check that. And all you do is just tap and hold on the screen. As soon as you tap and hold on the screen, uh, as you're seeing here, I tap and hold and boom, you get the original view pops up. All right. So back into this face, I think I hit everything on skin. Yep. There's everything on skin. So now face shape, we already hit all of those. Now let's go to eyes. So specifically for the eyes, you have eye size, eye brightness, eye contrast, and eyes clarity. So we'll start with size. Sometimes, you know, some people just it didn't like a little bit of bigger on the eyes, just a little bit, can look nice. You don't want to go crazy. You know, we're not going, woo we're not going weird here. Um, we don't want to go tiny little squinty eyes, but just a little bit. It's like that that kind of doe-eyed look. You know, you look at you look at little babies and they're such big, huge eyes and they're so adorable. Same thing here, just increase the eye size just a little bit. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want people thinking, you know, the grays have come. This is not like alien invasion, but just a little bit of exercise and that can go a long way. So we've added, uh, brought the size up a little bit. Eye brightness, very nice. We can make those eyes a little bit brighter. Check out the uh, uh, irises, irises. Ha. Check out our irises there. You get a little bit, a uh, little bit more brightness into there if you want. Eye contrast, which will go along nicely with brightness. So eye contrast, we can have more contrast into her eyes. So let me do this. Let me reset the eye brightness and reset the contrast. I'm going to take the contrast up first, and it adds some contrast, but it's darkened the eyes too much, right? So now I'll go to brightness and bring those up to kind of compensate for that. And if I do a little before and after, it's again subtle, but it's a nice little change to the eyes in there. And then there's the clarity, which is pretty cool too. It adds a little bit of sharpness into the eyes, really is gonna make some of those, um, some of those features in her eyes pop quite nicely. It's kind of zoom in really big on there. And you can see there, once again, let's go back into the eyes, eye clarity, and yeah, you can see a nice, Look, they're really nice. There's those little details in there really can look quite nice. Excellent. All right, I had a just quick little call out, little shout out to the folks at Polar. Notice every time I zoom in and out, all of my, my modes go, right? So I'm in skin mode, I'm in skin toning, and I wanna zoom out. So I pinch out and all that goes away. So now I have to go detected face, skin, skin toning, where to go skin toning. I have to do three taps to get back to it. Please. You've just watched a five minute sample of a live training video. 
To see the rest of it, head to photoapps.expert slash live where you can purchase and download it or sign up as a member. Members can stream any live training video as often as they like and have access to video tips and other exclusive member bonuses. To learn more about membership, head to photoapps.expert slash member.